maybe she has a vaccine. Hmm. Maybe she has a cure. Maybe I can stop working in a quarantine tent that's lined with clay moss and C4. You're a humanitarian, and I'm not sure you can afford to be. You have a better option on the table? Because we're barely containing this. And I hope you have a solution that doesn't involve a nuclear response. I heard the talk. Okay. Let's try it your way. Let's extract Dr. McIntosh and pray to God she's got answers we can use. You see. Dr. McIntosh is holed up in the serology lab, but external comms just went dark. Reach your location ASAP. 20 bucks says this exfil is a bust. With the good doctor's resume, is anything to go watch? All right, boys. Lights off. Let's take our time. Got a breacher, yep, behind a car. Let's try to go silently. Anybody got a line of sight? Oh, he's yeah. coming, watch out. Line him up. Okay, looks like they might have heard that. Let's go inside. Right, let's try to hide it here in a little bit. Barricade it? Yeah, got it. All right, I'm gonna check the corridor. Oh, we have activity. All right, come on in. Chenka, you wanna cover the left side? Smoke, take the right. Moving up. There's two on the right side. Make that three. All right, take him out. Lights on? Yeah. All behind. Right, right at, watch out, through the wall. Came right behind you. Let's go in the media room. Behind. All right, let's go. Watch out behind those walls. Yeah, there's one back there. It looks clear. Let's set up for the door over here. All right, center it up. Perfect. Here we go. Right. I've got yeah, we've got a lot of breachers. Watch out. Take them out. We've got a rooter behind. Reloading, smoking it up. Yeah, try to back up a little bit if you can. Yeah, ooh, rooter right here. You see it? Behind again. You got me. Got one. Is there another one? Yeah. Smoke is down. Head to the serology lab. Okay, everybody in. Oh, is it just lucky or do they know where we're headed? We continue with the mission. It's all we can do. We feel over here. Okay, lights off. Take your time. We have a grunt over here. Gotta line him up. Watch out on the left side. Yeah, put it right here. You probably heard that. Watch out. Let's take the right side. Yeah, right behind you. Yeah, they heard that, definitely. Watch out behind you, Chanka. In front of us? Yep. Take him down. All right, meet up at the top of the stairs. Yeah, we, they're coming. They're right behind us. Watch out. We tried to wait a lot a little bit. Okay, it looks clear. Let's try to cross the courtyard without getting too much attention. Got 
Breachers. Couple on the right. Yep. Going through. Yeah, let's meet up inside. Room is clear. Kachanka, you want to take point? You watch out, Breacher. All right, lights on. Let's just go for it. Under the old glow. Package located. Secure her and prep for exfil. Okay, barricading windows. All right, barricading perfect. door. Gonna get some reinforcements. Turn it up over the courtyard. Perfect. Gonna cover a corner over here. Okay, I'm gonna secure the doctor. Refill Perfect. Here. You made it. Good. Now help me recover my research so we can get the hell out of here. You've got hostiles inbound. Protect the doctor at all costs. I'm right behind you, Chanka. Right. Do you see them? I see a couple on the west. Yeah, a lot of them. Light him up. Okay, I'm backing up. Okay, north side. The right side. There's more. Are they coming straight away? my turret. On the other side. Turrets back up in that. Okay, watch out. Yeah, perfect. Watch out, there's more behind that wall. They're gonna breach it. Smoking up the hallway. Yeah, I see a lot of them over here. Oh, the breach the right side. They're coming from the ceiling. Yeah, doctor's under attack. Watch out. Drag out. I need cover. Get the dog pathology and grab that research. Alright, I think we're good. Gonna get the doctor. Let's get out of here. Alright, covering you. Following you. All right, but that's all the time we have for the live demo today. I hope you enjoyed it, and off to Justin for the expert panel. And as a sports car, you really want to be able to you know, punch it. You want to push it to its limits, and you want to be able to see how, what this thing can do. We've got a great engine. We've got, uh, we've got a solid roster of characters. And honestly, going into year three, we just wanted to have fun. We wanted to break all the plates. We wanted to show, we wanted to show what we could do with this engine, how far we could push it, the destructibility of it, the, the relentlessness of the enemies just coming towards you. All of that. We really wanted to have that moment that we could enjoy, that we could have fun as gamers, and sharing that experience with our community. Having fun with the game that we love so much, with the operators that we love yeah. so much. Uh, to, of course, Tachenka and all those wonderful yeah. uh, ca characters that we'll get into in a minute. But this was really a celebration of our, our community to kick off year three. We talked about it before, how this is kind of a, you know, it is a free event 
You right. don't have to play, pay anything. You, you don't even have to play it if you don't want to. But it is going to be there for people that do want to experience that, that world a little bit deeper. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, is that, you know, we keep on saying, okay, we're kicking off year three and we're going to do it in style. But the fact of the matter is, is that the last two years have been, uh, would have not been possible without the community growing behind us, without uh, the, the goodwill and all uh, the, the positive uh, the feedback that we've received, all the players that have come into the game recently as well, it's been phenomenal. And so the thing is that everything that we're doing with Outbreak is also a celebration of the last two years. To say thank you to everybody here, saying thank you so much for the love and support. It's a celebration of everyone in this room Absolutely. watching Rainbow Six Siege all week long at the Six Invitational. It's been a really special week, a really special weekend and we really thank you everyone for being here and of course uh, with outbreak it does create a bit of disruption it, it's not the two operators one map that everybody's used to it's a, it's something different i like how you say a bit of a disruption because it's <laughs> not a bit uh the thing is that uh what we wanted to do is we you know you take a look at the operators and stuff and we know players have been wanting to play to and play him to his strengths and just have him stand there depressing the trigger on, on his lmg and just raking down enemies you know we've we've known players wanted to play glass and have long sight lines and take down enemies you know and we know that there have been hostages out there that have been fearing for their lives whenever Fuse is on the map. So we wanted to provide all of that and keep Fuse a little bit away from it. Absolutely, but but introducing the same characters that we love, the same me uh, mechanisms and features oh, yeah. of Siege that we love, but uh, putting it in, in a new environment. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, is that I think it comes down to this. It's all about respecting who the operators are. We're changing the circumstances around them for this one-shot event. We're, we're, we're doing that so that we can celebrate who the characters are themselves, play the characters that the uh, community knows and loves, but everything else about it is just stuff that we wanted to throw out there. Stuff that you wanted to throw out there, that you ha wanted to have fun with. The game designers had a lot of fun with this, creating this, and turning to one of our game designers, Irvin Dos Reyes, the technical director, Irvin, as a designer of Outbreak, as a designer of these AI creatures, these monsters, what does the Parasite allow us to do as a design team? And the, the Parasite is the key to a freedom in terms of design. Uh, instead of thinking about gadgets which have to sound realistic in the Clancy lore, you think about monster abilities. You just try to have fun. It has you just focus on how often they are into your end. gameplay. We basically closed the stealth loop. In tier 1, you go from, oh, I'm undetected, to I'm detected and they will never forget about me. But our maps are a lot bigger with a lot more enemies. So we wanted to uh, give you an opportunity to basically take your breath back and grab some ammo, uh, heal that wounded guy in your team. Uh, so we have that mechanic like you can come back uh, to an, an hiding place and try back your advance in a more uh, stealth way if you want. As we discussed earlier, there is that unaware and aware state and you can go back and forth in between them uh, in Outbreak. This, this sort of stealth loop that you're talking about allows the players to be a little bit more creative with their strategy. And on top of this, uh, we, uh, the gadget, gadgets that p players are normally used to, like flashlights, 